Hi, I'm Eric with the Faithful Sidekicks, and I'm here to talk today about a very cool piece of gear called the Zoom Q2N. The Zoom Q2N is kind of builds itself as the all-around camcorder video recording device for musicians. Uh, Zoom is well known for their field recorders and their uh, you know, mic-based, audio-only recording. This is kind of their, their venturing into the video market. It's a multi-function device in that it is both a camcorder, an audio recorder, and a webcam and or USB mic. And let's check it out. The Q2N has a, a stereo pair and a rear microphone, so it gets a full 360 uh, omni uh, mic pattern fairly easily. The audio has an auto gain feature that uses this uh, you can use this wheel to manually set a gain, or there's these presets that will change the range of gain for different sound settings. So there's a concert setting, a meeting setting, a solo setting, and the mic will try and accommodate and auto-ride the, the volume level for those different presets. Um, it has an LCD screen in the back that shows what it's shooting and has gives you access to all the different menu options, including switching between audio-only video modes. It has a telephoto and wide angle setting which basically zooms digitally the picture in and out. The camera itself has a 160 degree field of view via a fisheye lens. It can be powered uh, by a pair of AA batteries or you can also power it via USB using like a, a battery pack. If you go the US, uh, if you go the USB route, you can get multiple hours of runtime. The AA batteries only seem to last about 40 minutes from full to dead. So that is one kind of con: is it, it eats batteries for breakfast. Audio quality on this thing is great. Uh, as I will, in fact, let me let me demonstrate the video and audio quality really quick. This is the video from my Canon T3i camera, with the audio from my cell phone. And here's the video and audio from the Zoom Q2N. Canon. Cell phone. Zoom Q2N. And here's some extended footage of the Zoom Q2N with some music to give it some, give you some idea of what it sounds like to record in video and audio through the Q2N. We use this as our primary audio for video in almost all of our videos. This one time, because I'm showing it, we're not. So the audio is going to be maybe a little bit less crisp than we would get out of this. Uh, we also use this as a webcam for streaming concerts. So if we're performing a um, if we're performing a full gig or something, but we don't want to go through the process of setting up a full uh, mix with a, a mixer and reducing it down. We just want to do a quick acoustic setup. This is more than sufficient. We use these for Zoom meetings and for uh, online song circles and all that sort of stuff all the time. Uh, it's super easy, super handy. It mounts on a standard uh, tripod mount or you can also get an adapter that allows you to mount it in a mic stand and it's just basically kind of a plastic piece that allows you to put it into a, a mic holder and we've used that several times to be able to shoot concert footage where we've set a mic stand up in the audience pop this into the mic holder and hit go and as long as it's got sufficient power we've been able to capture two to three hours of multiple performers including us uh, getting footage. Um, some of the downside, some of the drawbacks. The 160 degree fisheye lens means that unless you're up close and personal with it, 
everything kind of has a bend to it. And if you're video editing, you have to find a way to do lens correction, which can be problematic. Um, because the fisheye lens sticks out, it can get scratched fairly easily. Um, also, if you have direct overhead light, it can cause lens flare because it's hitting the top of that bulb of lens. Um, that's really it. The video quality is okay. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, we primarily use this as an audio device, and it excels at that. Uh, the price point on this, because there's a Q2N 4K that came out, um, I think this particular model, the original Q2N, is a little bit harder to find, and so you can sometimes find them for like 150 bucks or less. Um, I think we paid 150 for this back in the day, and that was when it was new. So it's not an expensive solution, but it because it does a lot of things, it's kind of a jack of all trades, but it excels at audio, and that is what our primary use for it is. It, as far as it being like a an inexpensive USB mic, it's a really good one. Um, there are a lot of other USB mics out there. There are a lot of better camcorders out there, but it's hard to find one that has decent video and good audio that's in a portable package that's battery powered that you can literally just slip in your pocket and go. Um, the newer version, the Q2N 4K, I have not had a chance to try out yet. I would like to, considering how often we've used this. It's been fantastic. Um, word is that it's improved on most everything, particularly video. Uh, so I'd be interested, please, uh, if you've had a chance to use the Q2N 4K, please feel free to leave me comments and let me know uh, how it works for you and, and what you think of it, and if it's worth the upgrade from the Q2N. Um, but... If you're looking for an inexpensive audio recording with the possibility of doing large shot video because of the fish eye, where you want to catch a whole field of view, the Q2N is a really great solution and it's definitely a great webcam, USB cam, or USB mic, and a good field recorder, audio recorder in a small package. Check it out. Oh